Let's say we want to record our own sound and add it to Mixcraft's library. Let's arm a track for recording, and we'll press record. All right, so we've made our own recording, and to add it to the library, we'll click the library tab, and we can simply drag and drop into the library. We can choose the import to library, and here it's just showing user libraries, and since I only have one, it defaults to Mitch Loops and you can choose which song kit it's associated with. You can also apply track effects here, which means any insert effects on the channel will be applied to the sound. And similarly, you can apply clip envelopes, and this means that if you have any volume or filter envelopes you've made on the clip, those will become part of the sound as well. Once you've decided on that, we'll press Add, and it gets added down there, and here it is. It's part of the library. Now you might notice that 01 Audio Track 6 isn't a very good name, so we can modify that by pressing the Edit Library button here, and this gives you a, a number of editable parameters. We'll start out with the name, and you can see a little pencil here shows us we're in editing mode, and we'll just click on that, and we'll call it Synth Burble, and we can also add other fields here as well. Tempo, I don't know what it is, but let's say it was 124. Let's enter a key signature while we're at it. That one I know is D. And the instrument, uh, synth. And style, electro. And keep in mind that all of these words that you enter here will work in conjunction with the search field here. So if you build up a library of sounds and use the same words, you can easily make your own keywords that will work in conjunction with the search field.